Hey guys, it's Lena. It's Leanne. For this week, we wanted to update and document how the entrepreneurship journey has been going for both of us and just be transparent about this journey because um, it's definitely a journey that doesn't have a blueprint. So since we started this journey, it's definitely been a roller coaster ride uh, with a lot of really internal battles more than anything. Um, just trying to fight the temptation of wanting to go back and take on a regular job since that's more stable and you know where your everyday is coming from and you know what you're doing every single day. Whereas this journey is really, really a walk of faith where you're really just trying to pave your own path. There have been several moments throughout these last few months where we both have kind of let it get to the best of us. There will be moments where I look at myself like, girl, you crazy for doing this. Uh, but I just try to keep focus on what I feel God is calling us to do because the reason why we took on entrepreneurship in the first place was because we felt this nudge and this push to go in that direction and tap into our creativity and just a lot of our childhood joy with creating videos and even writing and just creating a lot of different projects that we're really into. And we're slowly but surely releasing those little projects that we've been working on bit by bit, but just definitely want to document in real time the mental and emotional battles that we do go through on a day-to-day -day basis because it's definitely not as picturesque as people or other entrepreneurs will make it seem to be. One of the most challenging things of taking this journey is it will really strip you down of what you're used to so you're facing yourself and all the things that you've always tried to bury um, and so you have to confront those issues that you've ignored by working or like a regular job or distracting yourself with busy work so it really forces you to take a look at yourself and see if you really understand your identity and if you feel strong in your identity so just being able to remember who i am in god and just making sure that my foundation is based on that and not based on a position or finding security in my role or anything of that nature pretty much cleaning up who i am inside and really stripping the labels that the world has put on us because what i found about myself and i think for the both of us we can both say that we are really good at like shape shifting into any role or position that we walk into. Like any job I've ever taken, I really can excel in that role, but it's just made me a shape shifter where I don't exactly know who I am as a person. So God has been really intentional about taking us through this stripping journey so that we can really be rooted in the identity that he's given us so that we from this place, we're able to walk in the purpose that he has for both of us. And in a way, this has been our own personal wilderness journey where we don't exactly know where we're going, but we know that there is a promise at the end of this. And so it's been super uncomfortable, just like the Israelites were super uncomfortable as they were journeying through the wilderness, stripping themselves from everything that they knew as God was leading them to the promised land. And I think what's really powerful about the story of the Israelites going through the wilderness was that they knew God as a deliverer, setting them free from slavery, but they had yet to know him as their provider. So when they were going through the wilderness, they were like questioning, is God really with us? Even when he was raining down manna and surrounding them with food and everything that they needed, they questioned whether or not this was a good thing for them and that's definitely what both of us have been experiencing as well in this season where we're not 100 percent sure of every next step and so it has this questioning is this even a good thing that we're doing and i guess one of the other major things just relating to that is like trying to figure out where our provision is coming from from day to day and thankfully he has been providing day to day but it's just always a struggle to break away from being our own source of security because both of us are really like stubborn when it comes to providing for ourselves like we don't know how to receive or sit down and allow others to provide for us so him doing this to us is very uncomfortable <laughs> but 
we have definitely been experiencing him in a new way as provider. Just reading the story of Exodus and the Israelites going through that, it was really powerful to see that he wanted them to know that he is a good God who's taking care of them. And he also wanted to give them that space to heal and process everything that they went through because all they knew was slavery. Mm -hmm. And so in this season where they were completely unlearning everything that they knew, they were able to, number one, know who he is as their God and also build a new identity for themselves before they entered into the promised land so that they could be strong and have a new identity and walk into the promise with a new mindset and a new perspective on themselves and what would be ahead of them. He's definitely been renewing our mind and our perspective of ourselves so that we don't bring any negative old perspective or thinking into our promised land. We just hope that by sharing and being transparent about where we currently are, that this can encourage anybody who may be taking a similar journey, that if you've been wrestling and questioning and struggling internally, that you're not alone, first of all, and that you can just continue to trust and know that God is truly a provider. If he specifically told you to do a thing, he'll never let you just be out here stranded. So just hope to just provide this word of encouragement to whoever may be feeling or may be coming to the end of their wilderness like you sense that you're about to reach your breakthrough and I feel like that's the time when you experience the most experience the most turbulence because the enemy knows that you're really really close to entering your promised land and he will want you to forfeit it before you get there but don't forfeit it before you get there and continue to do the very thing and be obedient to the one thing that God told you to do in this season so that it can launch you into your next. Pruning is part of the process of getting to your promised land so that you can be stripped of all of the old things that no longer serve you. So even though it's uncomfortable and it can be painful at times, it's really good so that you can bear better fruit and a better mindset when you walk into your next. So hope this encourages someone. Definitely stay focused and keep going because it's worth the journey.